So here's the fastest way you can install multiple pixels on your website. Okay. So let's take for instance you have a Facebook account or you're running ads via Facebook, you're running ads via Google, and you have or you have different pages you are trying to run advert to on your website, but you don't want to use just one Facebook account or one Google account to run these ads, then you can use this same plugins I'm going to be showing you today and set it up step by step as I have just showed you detail in this very video. Okay, Joshua do I here again and in today's video I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can install multiple pixels on your website. So sit tight and watch till the very end. So first thing you want to do is head over to your WordPress dashboard and all you need to do is to log in using your login details to your back end of your WP panel. So this is basically my WordPress dashboard. Okay, so if you're logging to your WordPress dashboard, you should have something like this. Now, once you are here, what you want to do is head over to your plugins, and on plugins, you're going to go to add new plugins, right? So let's go to add new plugins. Okay, so we have it load. Now, the page is up. Now, the page is up. Previously, what happens is a lot of people use Pixel. Cards and let me just search for it so that you can see um, how the plugin looks like. Pixel cards, pixel sites, and a lot of those um, pixel plugins to install pixels, their Facebook pixels, their Google pixels on their websites. And at the end of the day, they discover that you can you're only limited to installing one pixel. Okay, so if you want to install more pixels, you are either asked to pay or you you will be asked to get the pro version okay so you can see this is the pixel card now this pixel card allows for only one um pixel to be installed at a time using the free version of the um, plugin but here is a new plugin i'm going to show to you that you can actually install up to 46 different pixels on it right now without you needing to pay a dime for it all right so let's head over to uh, let's search for WP code. WP code. So it's going to show up. Now we have it. This is the WP code, and as you can see, mine is already activated. All right. So if you are trying to get WP code for the first time, what you're going to see is installed now. And after installed now, you once you click on install now, it's going to show you activate. All right. So once you activate this WP code, you are going to have something like this showing active and also when it is activated head over to the left side of your screen on your wordpress dashboard and you're going to see the code snippet which is something like this all right so once you head over to this code snippet you want to click on it and go to code snippets you want to click on it and go to code snippets so that you can be able to um see what the plugin looks like all right so basically as you can see right here you can see connect to wp code library to get access to 43 free snippets so the truth is you have up to 43 free snippets that you can install on this particular website using the wp code so this is so so good and this is far better than pixel cards pixel site and all the other um, plugins out there that you use to install your pixels on your website so as you already can see as you can see i already have installed about 29 pixels on this site about 29 pixels on this site so if you have a product or you have different products that you are trying to run on this website and you are using different accounts to actually run these products or run these adverts what you can just do is get the wp code install it and follow this simple this same process i'm showing you right now all right so what you want to do now is head over click on add new so that you add a new um, pixel then you're going to also click on use snippets make sure you click on this first one add your custom code new snippet that's what you should be using so i'm going to click on use snippets okay so now that is up here's what you're going to do first you should know identify that this this snippet is inactive and you need to activate it right so i'm going to turn on the toggle so that it goes on and goes live and i'm going to give it a name so the name could be um bio we'll give it 
buy your let's leave that buy your okay so i think that makes it unique um so once you have that name giving it a name the next thing you want to do is to install the pixel itself now the pixel code is what you are going to install right here unlike the pixel cards and the pixel sites where you just need to copy out the um ads account number and impute it here this is quite different you need to install the pixel code on this snippet so what you want to do is head over to that facebook ads account you want to use and that's what we are going to do right now so i'm on the facebook ads account we want to use and how did we get to this place simple i was on the facebook ads manager which is this i headed over to the facebook ads manager and from the facebook ads manager all i just needed to do was to come to the events manager which is this you're seeing right here so i'm going to click it one more time so that you see how it loads up at first okay now good we have the page set up this is how it looks at first when you head over to events manager from the ads manager itself okay now once you head over to that place you first thing you want to do is go to data sources click on data sources and once you are there it's going to load up like this and once it's loaded up like this you want to head over to add events from add events make sure you're adding events from a new website so i'm just going to click on a new website right now and go ahead and use install code manually okay so i'm going to use install code manually and wait for it to load up so most times you can just come up like this and just come up to this level asking you to open event setup too but basically you know that what you actually came here for is the code itself so for you to get the code just go back to install base code here and copy out that code again now we we'll go back and paste that code we just copied back to our plugin our wp code snippet plugin so i'm just going to paste it here so as you can see we have it pasted and what i'll do next is save the snippets okay save the snippet now for you to know that this is saved you're going to see it highlighted you're going to see it here at the top snippets created and saved that's how you know that this snippet is saved now once you have done that next thing you want to do is go back to your ads manager continue from here and make sure this is turned on to automatic advanced matching and make sure every other thing here is turned on this actually helps your pixel to be able to gather information right so head over to continue and next thing you want to do is go to open event setup tool now now the aim of this open event setup tool is to actually test and verify if your pixel is actually being if it's actually tracking your website right or if your website is being effectively tracked by the facebook pixel so let's let's test it out i'm going to head over and okay, write the name of the website we just installed now okay and i'm actually going to use a defunct page page that actually doesn't have anything on it so okay okay so you should open on a new tab yep on its own so you should open on a new tab and this is it loading up right now now you can see this is showing error 404 this is because this page is actually defunct there's nothing on this page i actually haven't installed anything it's just a defunct page okay it's a blank page so um you, you discover that it's telling us that the facebook pixel id is not found the pixel on the website doesn't match the pixel account you're signing to so you would need to install a pixel id on using this number on this website in order to set up events right okay so basically if you get this don't panic just chill head over back to the search um, bar here and click enter or you can just click on refresh okay and just click on refresh and just wait for it to refresh so that you see what happens okay so usually it might not show up at the first time when you try to um, check for your pixel or your website it might not show up at the first time but what happens is you might need to refresh it maybe two times or maybe one extra time or maybe three more times right but if you refresh it about three times and you discover that it's still not showing then you need to go and check up your um, WP code because there could be a possibility that that information or the codes you copy down to your website 
actually not correct or it has been tampered with or you did not save your snippet after you had copied and pasted into your WP um, dashboard. Okay, so right now you can see the event tool, the event setup tool shows perfectly well. All you just need to do now is to track the URL. So if you can track the URL and set it for any event you want it to track. So if this page, for instance, is our thank you page, after a customer has made an order or has made a purchase or has taken action on, on whatever it is you want the customer to do, you can just use this other event names here for it. So you can just either give it a lead, you can give it a purchase, or you can just give it a, a view content so that it can just be like a landing page. So if it's a landing page, you can just use the view content and as you wish, you can just give it um, the other names right here. Let's just go ahead and use uh, view content here so that you can go ahead and I'll take away, I'll take away the value. I'll say don't include value because I usually don't use that. I'm going to confirm. Okay, so you can see it has tracked its successful. Now this whole setup is complete for this particular page. So you can set up as many pages as you want. You can track them and give it whatever event name you decide to give it, right? Now you can be able to set up as many pages as you want on your own website, right? So I hope you find this valuable. And share this video with others who might want to install as many pages as you want on your website. And if this is your first time of seeing any of my video, kindly subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I drop a new video just like this one. So until I come your way next time, peace.